Hi Aquarius and welcome to my channel. This is centered around love and romance. Um, so if you are dealing with someone, um, a spouse, a partner, a lover, someone that you're dating or meaning to date, um, this reading could be applicable for you because it might um, give some guidance as to how this person is feeling about you Aquarius and your current situation here. So if you were after a private reading with me, please feel free to um, email me. You'll find my email listed um, below this this video in the channel section. Let's get straight into it. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does this person feel about you? June 2019. Okay, hold your vision. Fixed moon. Okay, when we have a fixed moon coming in, if this is the theme as to how this person is feeling, it shows that they're very stubborn or they're very stuck in their ways. There isn't much room for possibility or opportunity with this person right now because they feel very stuck, okay? Um, right now they're feeling like there isn't much movement between the two of you maybe, okay? They're feeling like things are, are going the same, okay? They're possibly a bit stubborn. Um, fixed signs um, are Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and you and Aquarius. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with one of these signs or if you're acting this way, but I really wanted to focus um, if you are dealing with someone under one of these signs. Um, it's stubbornness. So whatever's happening here, it may last a little bit longer. It's an obstinate, um, it's an obstinate energy. It's someone that's very stuck or very fixed in their current set of circumstances. This person isn't wanting to change too much i think they might be afraid of change change might overwhelm them so they might even be feeling a little bit overwhelmed because of change okay if there's any changes happening here um they've got a certain vision and they're not letting go of it they i feel like they're very fixated okay now this could be that this person is feeling extremely fixated on you and that no one else around them or no other priorities can take their attention away from you and your connection together, your relationship together, Aquarius. Eight of Wands, Three of Wands, Ace of Chalices. Wow, and the Sun card. Okay, let's look to the left-hand side here. Eight of Wands. Something about pacing, signs, synchronicities, and steps. If you are dealing with a fellow fire, uh, a fire sign, sorry, this person, okay, is feeling like action is calling, but they're not taking the necessary action as yet, okay? I feel like it's a heightened energy. You can see it's climbing up to the top here. So I feel like there's still steps left to this attraction or to your connection with each other. Now, what's interesting is that the Eight of Wands is a card of action and movement and taking initiative and being proactive. The theme, however, is very fixated. So if we take that fixated energy and apply it to this card here, it might be that someone is continuously trying to prove something to you through their actions. Not so much their words, but their actions will be extremely telling, Aquarius, of how this person feels about you. It's the notion of... Um, I think there's someone around you that's very comfortable where they are. You know, I get complacency. So it's not always that stubborn energy, uh, I don't want anything to change. I mean, it's almost like where they are now, they're very happy. They're very happy where they are with you, um, is what I'm getting, actually. So although they're set in their ways, I think they're set in their ways for a reason, because right now it's all about being present and embracing the moment. You can see the sun card, this child opening up their hands, the sun raining down on you, a higher power, the arrows of love, everything just um, unfolding so nicely. I think this person is very happy at the way things are going between the two of you. I don't think they want to welcome too much change. Um, I think they feel hopeful for the future. That's that's a given. And you know, it doesn't need to be a fire sign. It can be any sign that you're dealing with Aquarius. I think this person is very much enjoying the pace at which you're traveling. And whether this pace is physical encounters first, whether this pace, pace is intimacy, whether this pace is 
things happening very quickly. I think they're very complacent in the energy um, that's around the both of you right now. And they are feeling hopeful for the future. They actually, they're actually considering being with you for the long term. This is all about embarking back on a journey that takes us far and wide. So there is someone here um, wanting to take that journey with you. And this is quite powerful. For some of you, it might be someone long distance coming through. If you have met someone that's overseas, interstate, from a different city, Aquarius, it's almost like this person longs for you. They're wanting to reconnect um, despite um, the oftentimes, you know, a bit of drama or lack of connection that is associated with long distance connections here. They're just very comfortable. I don't see them wanting any sort of change, okay? I, I do see that there's a longing because you can tell that he's this, this man is eager to make that journey, eager to take those first steps, eager to the eager for the future okay so this person is looking forward to the future because they they are thinking of you as part of their future in fact they've already envisioned it either having children with you or having a family or coming together as a family maybe even marriage engagement or remarriage with the ace of cups it does carry a strong christian catholicism um christian or catholicism christianity here the eucharist god's covenant the Holy Grail, the Golden Chalice, your cup overflowing, a covenant. So someone is looking forward to the future here. But I am seeing that there's stubbornness coming from this person. So look, if you are wanting to put a label to this relationship, Aquarius, whatever sort of energy you're coming in with, you need to trust that this person is not as quickly to move as you are. Okay, Their pacing is very, very different to yours. Um, because as an air sign, sometimes your pacing can, can exceed much, much quicker than someone else's. But, you know, if they are fixated on the same level in you, then great. The two of you could have a wonderful pacing in your relationship here. Um, I do believe there's someone coming from afar, someone foreign coming in around you, either missing you, longing for you, or hoping to reconnect. But they're very happy in your current, current circumstance here, which is very nice. Um, the Ace of Cups, there's someone around you, possibly a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, who's wanting to propose to you. Um, they're actually thinking about solidifying your union, possibly through a religious ceremony or a traditional ceremony. Um, someone feels like you've been gifted to them, okay? They feel a sense of purpose for the reason why you've connected. This is the hand of God, the Holy Grail, the universe, a divine power um, that emerges from the cloud and, and their cup is overflowing. So and, and take that um, metaphor, take that analogy and apply it to how this person is thinking. They feel very happy with the way things are going. They feel very optimistic. In fact, if they haven't already, June could be the period where they express their emotions and this could be tears of joy, tears of happiness. Um, you can see this, this fountain here. This is overwhelming. So it's an overwhelming energy. So it's one or the two. It's either one person feels overwhelmed and maybe wants to take things slower. Remember, it's fixated energy, so they don't want to rush. Or it's either they're just so happy, they, they couldn't be happier that they're bursting with excitement, that they're bursting with emotion, their cup overflows of happiness and joy. And they've been given so much that they're so grateful for and they're so thankful for, um, Aquarius. You're really a superstar to them. This is how you're coming up. This is how they're connecting with you. Um, you know that you're heaven sent, the notion of the dove, the messenger with, with the, um, the body of Christ. I, I definitely feel like someone wants to propose or possibly even renew their vows with you. Um, if you have a family, if you're married, if you have been married... Um, or it's possibly even someone falling back in love with you at a very steady and slow pace, reconnecting on a very deeper um, emotional level here with that Ace of Cups. It's quite powerful. And then you also have the Sun card. Okay. Possible water sign. Uh, sorry, uh, an Aries. Could be a Sag or a Leo coming through as well with the Sun card happiness harmony um 
this person is embracing you and embracing your connection and embracing you as a person but i feel like they're embracing you in a very childlike way and when i think of that we think of children when they are open to new experiences or new things through the eyes of a child they don't always jump into things they they have a sense of intuition here um and it's not like a guarded energy but it's more like they're open to the possibility but it's they haven't experienced something like this before so i think that's why they want to make it slower or travel at a more slower pace but the fact is they feel optimistic they feel happy they feel high the notion of creation is coming in with the sun card possibly want to start a family or are thinking about having children with you or if you already have children they're thinking about becoming a, a father figure or a mother figure or some sort of um, being part of that family unit joining or merging family units if they have children of their own it's the notion of family happiness happy times creativity but it's also identity the sun is all about the self okay self-empowerment self-governing even um self-governing characteristics um, independence i almost feel like you are adding to this person's identity and they are feeling more and more confident with themselves so actually the effect that you're having on them you know they want to retain that vision they want to hold on to those thoughts or that feeling that you give them aquarius because it means so much to them it gives them happiness or joy in a very in a very pure and blissful sense and it's just so natural you know everything about that card is just so natural and i think that pacing if they want to be very fixed or set in their ways or set in their emotions i'm almost here to say that this is the beginning beginning of something um of their feelings and i feel like these feelings are going to be embedded within them so it's not hot and cold it's not a flaky feeling it's not a fleeting feeling this that they're feeling right now is is going to be around them for a long time coming the distant future is here in the form of the three of wands and this is quite powerful this is a very strong feeling that they feel for you that will not only last june but beyond the month of june as well um, so that is quite exciting um, i will leave it at that though um, aquarius i hope this reading has been helpful